Alright, so let's take a look at the theme options that come with the faded theme. Here we are on our WordPress dashboard and I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and click on where it says faded settings. Here we have uh, all of the options that come included with this theme. So let's start with the logo image here. It's an image that you can upload that's 320 pixels by 61 pixels high and it's going to show up if I switch over to the site here where it says test site. Now one thing to notice is that it's going to um, use the name of your site so you don't have to use a logo image. It will put the text in there for you but if you do have a logo image it will replace that text where it says test site here. So let's go back to our dashboard and I'm going to click on upload one here where it says logo and I'm going to click on select files and I've got my band logo created here so I'm just going to click open and I'm going to scroll down to where it says link URL. I'm going to copy this link which WordPress creates for the file. I'm going to close this dialog and I'm going to paste it in where it says image URL. I'm going to click save and you'll see that my my site title here is replaced by my band logo. I'll just switch over to the actual site here so you can see it. Um, so yeah, there's my band logo and uh, that's that. So let's move on to the rest here. So the contact information, you can enter your email address and also your management information uh, email address there. So let's move on to featured album. With this theme you'll notice that there is a featured album area and it's in the, the header area of the main page and it also shows up on the sidebar. So what you want to do is get to get this started is just upload the album information. So the first one here is the album cover art. Um, the size of that is going to be 227 pixels by 204 pixels. So I'm just going to click on upload one here. Click on select files. And I'm going to grab the album cover that I've created already. So now that that's uploaded, I'm going to scroll down to where it says link URL, and I'm going to copy this link, close out of this dialog box, and I'm going to paste it in where it says cover art URL. And now I can put in my album title, so I'm just going to call it test album. And my intro text is the text that appears just before the album is shown, so I'm just going to leave that as new release. Now I can move on to links. There are four links that go with the album, so I'm just going to enter in my first one, which uh, I want to be to my MySpace. So I'm just going to type MySpace as the title, and in the link URL, I'm just going to say HTTP colon slash slash MySpace.com slash test band. Obviously, you'll want to replace test band with the name of your band. I'm just making up information, and I'll do another one here. Link title, I'll make one to iTunes. And I'll say HTTP colon slash slash iTunes dot com slash test band. Um, you'll put your own iTunes link in there, obviously. And I'm just going to do it for two links for now, but you repeat that process for the third and fourth links. So I'm just going to hit Save Changes. And now we'll go to the site here. Hit Refresh. And you'll see that I've got my album cover showing up. It says new release test album available now. And I've got my two links to MySpace and iTunes. So that is the featured album area. So let's move on to the image fader. Here we have the image fader area. So let's take a look at the site on where this shows up. Right here where it says no image entered, enter an image in the back end. That's our image fader. And we've got three images that it's going to slide through right when you go to the site. So let's go back to the back end and I've, I can select my first image here, so uh, image 1, enter your, a URL to your image. Now the image size is 610 pixels by 391 pixels, but there's something th about this that you can notice, and that is that you don't have to upload an image that is that size. There is some script in the back end that's going to resize that for you without distorting the image. So I'm just going to click on upload one here, select files, and I'll just pick an image. Once that's uploaded, I'm just going to scroll down to where it says link URL. I'm going to copy that, close this, and I'm going to paste it in where it says image URL. And now I've also got an image title, so I'm just going to say image title 1, image description. I'll just write image description 1. And I can also put in a link for where I want it to go, so I'll say http myspace.com slash testband 
And you can repeat that process for the other two images, uh, for two and three. So I'm just going to hit Save Changes. And let's go to the site and see what it looks like. So I've got my image in here, and I've got my image title and my image description. Now if I cycle through these images, you can see that the other two aren't showing up yet, and that's because I haven't uploaded them yet. But once I do, they will show up there. So let's move on to links. So here we are on the links tab of the faded theme options. Now what these are, are the links that are going to show up where it says we are social. And these are links that go to things like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, MySpace, and stuff like that. So the first thing that you want to select is whether or not you want to show those links. And if you do, then just make sure that it says yes, show them. And then you can type in your links. So your Facebook URL, just type in http colon slash slash facebook.com slash testband. And your Twitter username, we'll just say it's testband. And your YouTube channel, so http colon slash slash youtube.com slash test band and myspace myspace dot com slash test band and you can also fill in I like and Flickr but for now I'm just gonna do those links so I'm just gonna hit save and we'll go to the site here and see what's changed so now you can see that under we are social we have Facebook Twitter YouTube and myspace um, so that is how you use the links um, so let's move on to band members. So here we are on the band members faded theme options tab and what this is is all the information for each of the band members in your band. Uh, what this does once you fill it out, I'm just going to go to a, a completed version of the site here for a sec and I'm going to scroll down and you can see down here at the bottom that we've got Twitter feeds for each of the members. Um, so this, once you fill these out, these Twitter feeds will start to show up on your website. And you can cycle through these Twitter feeds by clicking through them like that. So let's go back to the settings for our theme. And we're on the band members tab, so I'm just going to fill in the first person's name. So I'll say test person one And now you want to make sure that you're entering a real Twitter username here. So I'm going to enter Adam's, my friend Adam, he, he made this theme as well. Um, I'm just going to put his Twitter username in here and uh, let's say that his role is vocals. So I'm just going to save that. Um, you can put up to eight people. The theme is built to hold up to eight people. So if you have a lot of people in your band, you can enter all of them. Um, but if you only have a few, you can enter less than that and it's only going to show the ones that are filled out. So just scroll down and hit save changes. And we'll go back to this site here and hit refresh and you'll see that his Twitter feed is showing up and I can cycle through his tweets. So that's how you use that. You just re Again, you just reproduce that for each different band member. So fill in their name, their Twitter username, and their role, and it will create that Twitter output on the main page for you.